Hi, if we're not here, um, I recently left the Big Brother Ninja house. You all know I'm a housemate. I am a professional TV presenter, actor, producer, writer, and whatever you want me to be. So my experience, basically, I was having a bad financial year um, last year, um, and I, I had just given up on everything. When my friend called me, she was like, are you here? I'm like, where? She's like, Big Brother Audition. I'm like, how? And then, you know, I was so broke because, you know, people had not paid me for jobs. I, I had no money in my account. So she literally put money in my account, and I went to the Big Brother Audition, and one thing led to another, and I found myself in the house. So that was basically it. I didn't plan it, but it happened anyway. <laughs> Ah, my first week in Big Brother House was crazy for me because before going into the house, I was really scared. I didn't know how many people I would be meeting. And when I got there and I met 19 other people who were actually, you know, most of them were allowed, I sort of like detached myself from the house and from my vantage point, I always call, you know, the place where I sleep in the Big Brother House, my vantage point. I was watching everyone just trying to learn um, the attitudes and how I could relate with them. And, you know, connecting with people has always been one of my biggest challenges when I am not working because I can be a social animal. So it took me time, like uh, the first week and second week, I was able to like you know open up with people and all that so yeah that was how it was basically okay initially i was um quite close to angel because we connected with the music and he was always playing the guitar and i would sing along whenever he was playing but um as um, the weeks went by i got close to princess you know because she's real she's crazy she's my girl she has a princess and then um before coco was disqualified i was getting close to her because aside the fact that um, you know she's quite loud sometimes she's real and you know she's very very okay mentally and i'm talking about the business side of her so yeah i was close to those girls in the house and 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 before i left i got close to alex alex my girl she's a free spirit wonderful girl shout out to alex i love you alex um well, my, my strategic partnership with Angel was sudden because we had just gotten into the house. We had just gotten past our first week and Big Brother just dropped it on us. So then I didn't re really even know Angel aside the music. So, but, uh, you know, it was the music I knew about him and he was the, like the only male I was quite close to. So that was why I chose him as my partner because it was the ladies who actually chose. That was how, how that one happened. You know, but towards the end of our partnership, I was actually getting scared because, you know, sometimes he would flare up over certain things and he would genuinely make me scared because I'll be thinking if you provoke someone or do something, we might get a strike. And I remember having that conversation with him. But after that, um, it was not the guy's turn to pick. And then um, Leo chose me. And I think for me, uh, my partnership with Leo, the Leafu partnership was the most fruitful for me because um, you all know that the both of us actually won the Pepsi Rock the Mad Challenge. And um, it's because Leo is a guy that is quite focused. And you know, when he wants to do something, he actually goes all the way. And he's actually quite kind because initially Leo was laid back, but I had to talk with him, tell him, look, I actually didn't want to win this. And, you know, he gave me more than 100%. And that's something that I really appreciate. Um, with Leo also, um, in a group with two other people, and that's Toby and Lulu, we actually won the Heritage Bank um, competition that we did. And um, that has actually has been quite fruitful now that I'm out. We've had meetings, and everything is looking bright. So, yeah, um, shout out to Leo. Um, thank you for being such an awesome partner in the Big Brother Ninja house. <laughs> I think I had several good experiences. Um, winning the um, Pepsi Rock the Mad Challenge was really a good experience for me and because some pairs were actually conspiring against us. So at some point, it felt like we had, it was a lost battle, but you know we pulled through, so that was really exciting. And a Saturday night uh, with my bottle of Legend in my hand and I'm drinking and dancing, that was also good. And also my diary sessions with Big. I miss Big's voice. Big brother! <laughs> I miss his voice. And I think the workout sessions and you know some of my interactions with some of the people, and um, sad or down moments in the house would be, um, I think, the second or the third time. The third time that I had, you know, got into the head of house um, task, the final, and I lost. It was really depressing for me. And I remember one time I was actually breaking down. I went to the uh, laundry session sec section, and um, I, I, I was actually crying. And I went to Big Brother, but you know, he wasn't there for me. But uh, you know, we had to talk about that, and he and he um, sort of like encouraged me. So yeah, that was really a down moment for me. And also when Princess got evicted, I was really sad. It didn't hit me immediately, but when I went up to upstairs where I, I would usually, you know, sleep, it hit me and I started crying and it was, it was quite emotional for me. Yeah. So da several down moments, several up moments. Oh, because I had already mentally prepared myself for that. Uh, I, like I always tell people, 31st December, I told myself I was going to be intentionally single this year. But if I want to kiss a guy, I kiss a guy and I move on. Because honestly, I don't see the bearing that a love relationship would have in my life right now. And, um, I am someone who's actually attracted to people who are quite older than me. And I'm 25, and everyone in the house was actually around my age. So 
And, you know, I just, I don't know. I just don't know why I wasn't even attracted to them. But I was attracted to some people mentally, people like Leo. You know, I would say that for anyone who actually cares to listen, to anyone who cares to listen, yeah. So no romantic attractions because I had told myself that wasn't going to happen. And it just didn't happen. It, it wasn't like a direct, I, I wasn't like attacking Nina with that. I remember it was during the session where we were saying things we like about others and things we don't like, you know. And I said that, um, I said, that I don't know if she intentionally acts that way, you know, because it seemed like she was acting that way. I, I don't know if it was a strategy. And why I was saying that was because I felt like people were beginning to pick on her and take advantage of her. So it wasn't like I was calling her dumb. I was saying, if, I think, I believe people are picking on you because, you know, you act this way. So maybe you want to work in that. I never called Nina dumb. I mean, Nina, um, towards the end of my stay, we actually, you know, got not really close, but we were friends and, you know, I would use her makeup sometimes. Um, I would, you know, do stuff with her sometimes. And now that I'm out, I'm glad that she actually has a good, you know, huge fan base. And, you know, aside the fact that I'm rooting for Alice, I'm also, you know, rooting for Nina in a way because people thought that she was weak and now she's strong, yeah. Love about alcohol. <laughs> exactly. What's not to love about alcohol? I mean, it's not like I get, I drink and get high and misbehave. I'm actually the one who takes care of people who misbehave, yeah. So, and alcohol is just like, it's legend, yeah. I mean, like, uh, through the week, um, during the week, we have sometimes intense tax that, you know, we are drained mentally. And it's Saturday, and the next day is Sunday. You don't know if you're getting evicted. So, why not just dance away your sorrow or whatever it is and drink responsibly? That's what I do. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot predict, but whoever has the highest votes should win. But I am rooting for my girl, Alex. I hope she doesn't come back this Sunday, but I'm rooting for Alex.